I had gotten so in the habit of just taking video after video of Enzo to send to the vets to find out if, you know, it was time to think about her having a compassionate passing and dying with dignity, or if it was just we needed to up her meds or whatever the deal was. And so I got in the habit of taking videos of her and you know, I thought this is really inappropriate, but really is it? What about if we show the beauty of the dying process, that how it can be beautiful and it doesn't have to be horrible. Maybe we could all be a little bit better. So here she is and here's how sweet she is. Do you hear her? Hey, I'm so. not suffering. She does that cute little twilly, you know, that little itty bitty meow. It's like a little twill. That's always been her call. And then when I come and pet her, she starts to purr. She hasn't eaten today and she's just refusing food. So, are we purring? I think we might be purring. I can't tell. Anyway, this is the sweet second to the last day she has one more day and then they'll come out on Saturday morning and give her that you know nice sleeping med and we've got a beautiful site set up in the back already whole dug you know the stone in place ready to go it just felt so weird that when you really love something don't you take care and make arrangements that it goes as smoothly and beautifully as possible so here we are, up here overlooking the Colorado River Valley, and wouldn't it be nice if everybody had this beautiful place to make their transition? So as sad as I am, and oh my gosh, I've been crying a lot. <laughs> it is what it is.